Let's hop back into Rim World and go over the shit that has happened recently. Oh my god. We, and some shit has happened recently. We started last stream with six people. Colonies popping off. The sky is less green than it looks right now. What happened in those three hours, you ask, Ryan? Well, let me walk you through what happened. First off, Mars lost his fucking mind. He killed comatose. Not only, we forgot to add this detail. Not only was Mile comatose, uh, asleep, Maya was technically comatose. Mars said, you know who isn't going to fight back if I decide to kill him? A comatose person. Mars killed a comatose person. Rest in peace, Maya. Who is buried, who is buried here. Uh, we had Tub, who is a drug man. Tub died to an infection. Because in RimWorld, there is no, there is no hope. You think that you have hope, but you do not have hope. Then we got raided. Actually, I don't know if it was then or if it was later. Or if it was before. We got raided. The raiders fucked us up. Uh, they killed everybody except for Mars. When really, what you should be doing... I, You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start using Mars as fucking bait. I'm going to I'm gonna sit him out here. Let them go attack him. Let everybody else do the shooting. Mars survives. I love you, Mars. Um, And so does and so does Maddie. Barely. She's, she's all beat up. Panda and Rebecca both get kidnapped and stolen. They're not, they're not, they're not dead. They're just gone forever. And there might be a rescue mission later. We'll see. Um, Tub was also, thank you, Rebecca, for the very good reminder. Tub became obsessed, obsessed with corpses, dug up Lunar's body, which I have since reburied, set it on the dining room table. Rebecca sat in this chair and ate a meal over Tub's dead body. That is so Tub. I know, right? I know, right? So yeah, we got two people. Then fucking toxic fallout happened. The air... There's there's poison ash falling from the sky. Welcome back to RimWorld. It's a it's a land of hope and dreams. Welcome back to Misery Town. Don't let your dreams be dreams. We're so fucked. It's great though. I'm having a ton of fun. <laughs> I'm having a ton of fun. I'm having a ton of fun. Despite all of this 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 happened. I think Mars is really these are our two these are two of our original three colonists, by the way. We've we've added all these other people. We've had other other people come by. All of them have died. Oh, also, a couple pets died. Let's not let's not forget about the fact that a couple pets died. All that we have left is Hero, who is currently injured and may, and may still die. He also lost his tail due to frostbite. So it's fine. Things are fine. This is this is the this is fine flames meme constantly. Let's check on Mars's health real quick. He has 20% toxic buildup. The worst of the toxic fallout has settled. Okay. That's great actually. We can we can now We can now let the uh the animals and stuff and the humans out. Great. Don't insult my leg hair. Well, don't murder comatose humans. Or animals, for that matter. Don't murder, murder any, any, any comatose anything. Don't murder. It's a simple, pretty. It's a pretty simple rule. You know, when humans gather together in different places to, to live, and uh, and and group up together for greater chances of survival, we have a couple generally simple rules about how to conduct yourself. One of them is don't murder. Ours doesn't like that rule. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. What are you talking about? How you guys doing, by the way? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm carrying in a lot of. I feel like I'm carrying in a lot of trauma with me today into 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 this uh, into stream into this community, and that's because we had a traumatic fucking day the other day. Rack says, "Wait, you can't murder." Uh. Yeah. G gener generally, yeah. Mars says it's a stupid rule. All right, cool. All right, cool. Mars, how are the papers coming, actually, by the way? Also, I should say, really quickly, uh, we're going to do a Meg stream tonight. Rebecca, I am not saying this just to hurt you, um, but I wanted to let people know because uh, of the Mandalorian skin in Fortnite, Megan and I are going to be hopping into Fortnite um, tonight because we really want to get the Mandalorian skin. So... Surprise says, well, fuck, dot, dot, dot. 
Slayer, how's it going? You gonna play Cyberpunk? I'm not gonna play Cyberpunk uh, soon. I will play it maybe, maybe eventually, but not soon. How about you? Instead, I'm gonna sit here and ask everybody questions about Cyberpunk and ask them how much they're enjoying it. You know? I sent Megan the text this morning about, uh, about, um, about Fortnite and the, the Grogu skin. And she was like, wait, what? <clears throat> what? I hear you, Rebecca. I hear you. I hear you. And, and we will try our best. We will try our best. There's too many games to play. Not enough time to play it when, which is friendly for everybody. Uh, Baby Yoda. Not the skin, but the, uh, Baby Yoda thing. What is this, by the way? Kibble? Oh, good. Got some kibble. Oh, you know what we should, where we should store kibble? We should store kibble here, actually. And not in here. Um, kibble can't go in there. All right, cool. Rebecca, have you seen Mandalorian? Mars says my last paper was turned in Tuesday. Oh shit, let's go. So what are you up to now? Are you just chilling? You got work? What's uh what's what's the deal? Surprise, did you say you've played probably five hours so far? I have a course proposal due next week. Cool. Are you excited to work on that? I always viewed that as a, as a semi-exciting uh, piece of stuff to work on. Like in terms of all the things you could be doing, you could be working on. Course proposal can be, could be a little bit more fun. And some grading, gotcha. Um, Rebecca, did you end up watching The Mandalorian? I feel like the, yeah, I don't know. I'm super excited for the Grogu thing just because of having watched The Mandalorian, but I can imagine maybe not being as excited for it if you're not into Grogu. You know what's better than Cyberpunk? Let me guess, Minecraft? Mm -mm -mm. Let me guess. So we're in a like kind of uh, holding pattern right now. Because, oh my god. All right, if you're in the chat currently and you would like a character named after you, go ahead and rush and type a comment in the chat Um, if, if you're on the list already. Because it looks like we have a new character. A human computer named Freckles has arrived and is joining the colony. She's willing to contribute, but she will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want Freckles, you have to like kill her or, or something like that. Okay. She has a stab scar that is very painful on her torso. She is female, she's age 35. Am I dead or am I still on the list? Oh, Brack, I have great I have great news for you. You can also banish him, that's true. No, I haven't seen Mandalorian yet. I just judged on the fact that I think it's in the way when I play the game. Uh, yeah, 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 fair, fair enough. Whereas Megan and I are just like, we watched the newest Mandalorian episode last night and uh, are just excited to do that. So this is Freckles. Incapable of artistic, the traits are a teetotaler, aka um, hates the ideas of gaining pleasure from chemicals. She strictly avoids alcohol and recreational drugs, and she's too smart for her own good. She learns everything much faster than everyone and can be quite eccentric. Great intellectual skill, great medical skill, good with animals, okay at cooking, no construction or mining skill, good shooting. This is a great, this is a great addition for us. Uh, Brack, I, I have, uh, I have great news for you. You are next on the list. One spot above. Surprise. And so, welcome to our newest member of the community. It's kind of hilarious because it's not, not at all like, uh, like you in real life. This person is not artistic. And yet you are very artistic. You're one of the more artistic people I know. But welcome to the colony. Oh shit, Meg just commented me, me, me literally right after I named it.
This is a problem. <clears throat> Brack, how are, how attached are you to this character? I feel like I probably have to keep this Brack unless Brack says that we can name it Meg. How do you feel, Brack? You want to be the next character? I need a better one. All right, Meg, this is you. This is my wife, Meg. All right, Meg, the human computer. Now this seems a little bit more like, <coughs> this is too good. I just can't, I just can't take, I, I have to do this. I can't, I can't not make fun of uh, my wife here, right? I have to take the opportunity ahead of me. You know, I just have to. Welcome to Meg, who is a human computer. Uh, who is good with animals. We know this because of Kingsley and Hero. Who is, uh, very good with med- has a burning passion for medical stuff. That's- that's Meg, for sure. Very intellectual, that's Meg, for sure. Incapable of artistic. Listen, the game said it. It didn't- I didn't say it. The game said it. Not me. Uh... Meg is fine with alcohol, but she doesn't- she definitely doesn't take any recreational drugs, so that one's a little bit... And she is, and she is quote unquote too smart. Welcome Meg to the colony. May your life be very fruitful and, and may you have many, many days on this planet without dying. Welcome. Welcome. And may you not get kidnapped and or die. That's, that's also true. Yep. All right, so what are we going to make Meg do? Meg's got an incredible research skill. Does she have a gun yet? She's carrying a steel knife. No, no, no. Go get a gun. What are you doing? Meg, go get, go get this gun. Equip the... Nope. Equip the SMG. Oh, yeah. Now you got an SMG. We're going to make you sleep over here. This is now your room. Oh, no, let's make you sleep here. This is Rebecca's old old room. We're rooting for you, Meg. Meg, we believe in you. Meg's going to get this colony up and running. Mobile delay is real. I don't care what you do. Oh, dude, it's so real. Megan is commenting way late. That's okay. We still love you. And now you're, now you're a part of our community. All right, what do we have Meg do? She's 100% our number one doctor. Um... She'll fight fires, just like the rest of us. She's not going to warden. She's not going to handle. Uh, She's not going to cook unless she absolutely has to. I think we're going to make her a, like, a bona fide researcher. We're going to see if she enjoys researching, I guess. I don't know. Although the one thing we could do is have her better at hunting, too. If there's hunting to be done, she'll do hunting. If not, she's going to... Meg, welcome to the colony. You're going to sit at this table, and you're going to research shit for the rest of forever. You're you're really good at it, and so you're just going to... You're a human computer, after all, so you're just going to sit here and research. Surprise says that Meg is like Mars, but better. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope I can help bring success to this colony. That's the exact kind of can-do attitude that we like to see. I like to see that, Meg. I really like to see that. Really like to see it. <clears throat> Mars, is, Mars is just planting away. With three people, this could happen. We could do it. We could actually get there. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca says, hey. Do you hear that? What do I hear? Is that the sound of hope? What is it the sound of? Brack says, and then when I come into the colony, I'll burn the whole place down. Okay. Well, uh, Brack just, Brack just determined that he's been skipped uh, for next character. Great. Love to see it. Megan has already gotten some research. Listen closely. What am I listening closely for? 
Meg's already finished some research. Uh, that's good news, but I don't know what it was. Um, let's do this one. What are IEDs again? Oh yeah, they're. It's the sound of Rebecca screaming. Help me, I'm kidnapped, but alive. Help, Mayday, over. We got you, Rebecca. A cluster of cargo pad pods have dropped by with some squirrel meat. 196 squirrel meat. It's it's what you love to see. You do love to see it. Deal, Rebecca. Deal. We'll do our. We'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. Let's be honest. If I have to send a rescue crew after you right now, I'm gonna send Mars, even though he can't wield a gun, because at this point he's just our our everybody's favorite bullet sponge. What? Hero is fully healed. Let us rejoice. Hero is back up and ambulatory. Even with all the health problems. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, who's doing our cleaning? Maddie's doing our cleaning. Hmm. We could also have Meg help with some cleaning, right? I mean, she will. No, she won't because she's just researching. Interesting. He's the only one who's killed people in cold blood, so that's in our favor on such an outing, I guess. That's true. Quote unquote, by the way, I just want to I just want to drive the knife in a little bit harder to Mars's back after he stabbed us in the back. Quote unquote, incapable of violent. And yet. Still fucking murdered a person, so... That's all I gotta say on that one. Here's the question. Do we just make Meg research all day, or do we make her do other stuff, too? We could make her a number two hauler. She'll now haul stuff much quicker. Which hauling is a job that I feel like you just gotta do as soon as it's available. That's actually probably pretty good. We'll try that. Rack's gonna start his own colony with lots of gambling and casinos. Okay. Will there be strippers? What does research actually do in this game? I mean, how does it benefit the colony? So you can't you can't do stuff until you have the research. So like eventually we're gonna You can't see my mouse. Why can't you see my mouse? Why can't you see my mouse? I can see my mouse. It's weird. Anyways, um, this is the research tree. So like a lot of other research trees in, in these kind of games, if it's, if it's green, we have it researched. If it's gray, we can research it. If it's completely like light gray, we can't even research it yet because we have to do stuff beforehand. All this stuff all the way over on the right hand side of the screen, we have to complete in order to get off of this uh, planet, unless we want to borrow somebody else's spaceship so research is a is is your progress through what you can and can't build or do or or advantages you can make a lot of them are weapons a lot of them are medicine a lot of them are just quality of life things how to get better power um that's a great question rebecca research is kind of has to happen you don't have to research everything but you do have to get all the way to the end of the tree you basically have to do research to beat the game you don't there's, there's one way you don't have to do it, but the way we're going to do it, yes, you have to research to beat the game. Um, yeah, there's two ways to beat the game. Three in the, if you include the DLC, but we don't have the DLC. So one way is to, one way is to launch your own rocket on the colony that I was just showing you. The other way is I have to travel from this blue home, blue home right here, all the way over. Oh, I can't do it. Shit. To this purple flag right here where somebody else has a rocket for us that we could then use to go into into space traveling that far traveling is very difficult um it's never been my favorite way of doing things i'm much more into having a colony and just and just running the colony to success so there's basically two ways we're going to choose 99.9 .9 likely we're going to choose to build our own rocket and get off of the planet we're not going to masturbate to our rocket we're going to get off of the planet and uh 
And to do that, we need all this research done. And research is way quicker when you got somebody smart, like Meg, who just sits there and cranks out stuff because she's very quick at it and she has a high skill. So her intellectual skill is 11 out of 20. And her experience bar is going up quickly. Soon she'll be level 12. There you go. Ryan has a thing, a rocket thing, or a thing for rockets. We're not going to masturbate to our rocket. Thank you for adding that quote, Mars. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for encasing that quote in carbonite so that we can all remember it in the future. Love to see it. <laughs> Look at all this food. We're chilling on food. Let's just go ahead and make it like 40. I get 36. 12 meals per person. <clears throat> I have a thing for rockets, indeed. Rebecca says, guys! What's up, Rebecca? Do you want rescued again? <laughs> Chunks of spacecraft have impacted nearby. You can deconstruct them for more resources. Great. Look at all this dead. All these things died to the toxic fallout. There's hope after toxic fallout. Animals are coming back into the area. It's good. I can download games and watch stream at the same time because of the new internet. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, did you uh, did you get any answers from anybody about your uh, network thingy card? I bet you could potentially ask. I don't know if Surprise is in class right now. I bet you could potentially ask Surprise and he might know some answers. Maybe. Let's go. Out of anybody, he's probably the most likely. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> so we invested in all these rooms, which is great, because now we can take in anybody we want. Let's make this a prisoner bed, too. Um, it's all good. We got all this stuff. Which is going to be probably too much food, actually. You know what I should probably do? I should probably not allow new sewing here. I've never had too much food. It's an interesting problem to have. Shout out to new internet. Uh, Brax says, alright, BRB just finished, uh, working out. Sounds good, dude. Sounds good. <clears throat> Maddie's making some art. Maddie, is art really the most useful thing you can do right now? I guess everything else is done, so maybe. Okay, well. Fuck me then, never mind. So here's the, here's the next step we should probably be taking. Security. Okay, how many... It's just going to take us too long to do this, right? We can do it. Let's do it. All right. Structure, sandstone walls. That actually feels like a waste. We're going to do it this way. Okay, so eventually the new goal now is to uh, is to put a barrier wall so that anybody who attacks has to be kind of like uh, like rushed through one area, you know? Like if they're going to attack, they have to be, they're funneled in one area, you know? Rebecca's talking about a new internet network interface card or whatever it's called. <clears throat> Maybe we just do a wall here. We have like three entrances. Oh, it's firing. Oh, it's lightning. And... Oh. We should probably wake somebody up to go put that fire out. Ours is not going to do it. For some reason. Are you incapable of firefighting? No. Oh, I bet it's not in our home zone. Dry thunderstorming. 
Rex says, my dinner is a whole box of Oreos. Dude, I actually did that last night. I did that, and then I also ate pizza after my run. Guys, we are currently training Hero how to attack. If we get attacked, we just send Hero after him. It's great. Sprint says, maybe try a different Ethernet core. There's an idea. There's an idea. Or you could at least look up what quality of Ethernet cord you set you have. It might be on the side of the cord. Might say like cat five or six or whatever it is. I don't know. That might give you more information. More information has never hurt anybody. Uh, Eclipse. An eclipse has begun. I don't know if she has an extra Ethernet cord, but at least figuring out what it is might help. Rax says, uh, I don't. I don't know why you did it, but I'm bad at this adult thing because only thing in my fridge is juice, ice cream, and octopus. That is a very interesting fridge. I did it because I don't like cooking. Pizza's easy. I love pizza. Um, with everything that is in me. Megan worked really late last night. Megan worked until like 6.45, I think. So, uh, we had to, uh, so I was on my own. Let's see if we have eight. That gives us extra to sell. And also install. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, it's just burning. Okay. Great. Love to see it. trying to think how to do this I think we'll do one walkway like right here maybe we'll do this part out of uh what other blocks do we have Got limestone we can do granite this 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 is gonna be the slowest possible process Eclipse has ended. That's true, Brack. That's true. Okay. With three people, the amount of time this is going to take is going to be actually kind of ridiculous. Let's just set it in here to, like, slightly colder. Let's set it to, like, slightly colder. My meals are actually going bad, which is not good. Um... Food's going bad. Mars still doesn't have a good enough construction skill. BRB putting Arlo up. Sounds good, Mars. <clears throat> Brax says it might be... I might need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Sounds like it, unless you're just going to eat octopus for a while. Sounds like it. Oh, good. The nation of Brexit has decided to raid us. Is it just one person with a knife? Dude, I'll take it. I'll take it. Get drafted. Mars, we're using you as fucking bait this time. Are they going up? What's gonna what's gonna happen here? They are going up. We're gonna send Maddie right here. Meg right here. Mars right here. Okay. Maddie, go right here. Yep, start shooting. Beautiful. Was that all of them? I think that was all of them. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Rebecca says, after Brack and I stopped playing Fortnite, I went into the kitchen and said, I'm an adult, and I got myself a bowl of ice cream. 
That's the most adult sentence I've ever heard, that's for sure. Meg is our doctor. She's gonna capture Loka, who we are going to attempt to recruit. Loka, you might be our next our next per our next person. Meg says, gotta go back to work. Love y'all. Hopefully see you soon. Hope I continue to be a productive colony member and that I don't murder anyone. Meg, you would never. You would never. You're not that kind of person. Mars is that kind of person. Capture them and hold them prisoner until they become Brack. Exactly surprise. Exactly my thought. Wait, so the war criminal is me? It might be. We'll see. I have to... I have to convince him. Oh my god, Rebecca just said Loka looks like a microphone. You're so right about that. <laughs> We're gonna try it. We have to, we have to uh, change them to a recruit. They have a lot of resistance, so it's probably gonna take a long time. But we're gonna make you, we're gonna make you a, uh, especially with an excellent doctor like Meg working on you. <gasps> Fire! Oh yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna put out that whole fire, please. Meg's beating the fire out. Mars is also beating the fire out. Maddie, please put the fire out. You, you are incapable of firefighting because you are a pyromaniac. I forgot about that. Meg looks like a microphone too. If she took that, that whatever it is she's wearing off, she definitely would. 100%. There you go. Loka is no longer incapable of walking because Megan is an incredible... Uh... This is just going to keep happening. It's an incredible... Doctor. 1v1 me on this game, bro. Get good, forehead. Hi, Leon. How's it going? Hello, hello. How are you? You got to put out the fire. Got to gotta put out the fire. Yep. Meg, wake up and go help Mars put out the fire. The whole, the whole fucking place is on fire. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. 1v1 Pokemon battle in this game. I could take you on with just Hero. Just our Turtle Hero. I could take you on. Ice cream eating competition? Oh my god. I'm into that. Did I tell you guys I once, uh, I once set the, the record at our local IHOP for the most pancakes eaten? Uh, during the IHOP all you can eat pancake uh, promotion. I set the record and I held it for an entire 45 minutes at my local IHOP before a good friend of mine who later went on to play uh, football at Michigan State and be a be a starting a starting member of the Michigan State football team who had approximately 100 pounds on me came and he ate one more pancake than I did. Um, yeah. It's a weak-ass record. You don't even know how many pancakes it was, surprise. I was, at that point, I was a senior in high school. I was on the swim team. Uh, which was the hardest thing, one of the hardest things I've ever done. While also running about 60 to 70 miles a week. Uh, I was eating calories like it was my fucking day job, dude. Eating calories like my day job. Brax says, I'll probably beat your record. Oh, I love the confidence from people in chat. I just love it, dude. Just love it. Yeah, that's what 250 pound starting tight end Joey said as well. And he got there by one pancake. I ate 22 pancakes at the, uh, at the IHOP. Yup. Listen, you can say that you could beat me. And you can even believe it if you'd like. But it's not true. You could beat me right now, for sure. Rebecca says, I can say this with confidence. I will not beat your record. You could say it, and you can you could even believe it. And that's that's good. That's nice. But at the time, you would not have... Like, I was... <laughs> so here's what was happening. I was waking up every morning. We had swim practice twice a day. It was winter break. We had swim practice twice a day. So we would swim at eight in the morning and we would swim at four in the morning at four in the afternoon. I would wake up around like six or seven, jog three to five miles, go to swim practice, swim for an hour. I would eat between the two. I would get in my car after swim practice. 
and I had I just had a, I just had boxes of cereal in my car that I would eat on the three minute drive home. I'd eat some breakfast. I'd sleep for a bit. I'd go for my run at like one or two in the afternoon. I'd eat. I'd go to swim practice. I'd eat. The record before me was like 16 pancakes at that IHOP. And they and it had been the record for like a year. And I ate 21 pancakes. 22 pancakes. And then Joey came and ate an, an extra one. <laughs> Listen, there's there's a lot in my life that I know exactly how humble I should be about it. You know? I, I there's a lot of there's a lot in my life that I'm like, okay, let's be very clear. I like to think I'm a fast runner. I'm not that fast of a runner. I, you have met many people in this stream who are faster, faster runners than I am. I like to sometimes think I'm good at writing. I've met a lot of a lot of better writers than me. I've met a lot of people who could eat way more than me right now. But that winter break, I don't know of any humans, minus Joey, who lived in the entire area, who could eat more than I could. <laughs> I just, I just don't think so. That's the one thing I'm confident in. I was eating like Michael Phelps training for the Olympics. I was swimming much fucking slower than that, but I was eating like a beast. Because I was very inefficient at swimming. I was super bad. It was my first year swimming. And so I was just like, I was bleeding calories. That's how much it was. Sounds good, Rebecca. Also, Leon said tomorrow's Friday. I know, let's go, right? Why are you talking as if you train daily to eat 22 pancakes? I wasn't training to swim fast because I really sucked at swimming. I was really bad. I was the worst swimmer on the team. Uh, by a long ways. I did swimming my senior year because I didn't want to do basketball, which I'd done for every year for 10 years before that. And I wanted to, I wanted to learn how to do the swimming strokes so that someday eventually I could do triathlons, which was great. It did teach me how to do that. But, uh, he had me swim the 500, which I hated and I was so slow at. And every time we swam the 500, Everybody would be finished and then there would be two minutes of me swimming and and people just like Chatting so that they could waiting on the on the swim meet to keep going Yeah, I was really bad as good as I was eating pancakes. I was pretty fucking terrible at uh, I was pretty terrible at swimming Megan is knocking out research like it's her day job. I'm so proud of you, babe Let's get gun turrets online, please I would love gun turrets online. I would love it. Practice tomorrow, I'm making pancakes. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. Rack's gonna try and beat my 22 pancake record. You could try. And maybe you'll eat 23 pancakes, but like, we're never gonna know, you know? We're never gonna know. Cause you don't know how big the pancakes were. He says, I'm gonna have 30 pancakes. Honestly, if you wanna eat 30 pancakes, go for it, but don't do it to try and beat my record because I was miserable for like three days afterwards. I was really miserable for a long time. And I just don't want you to go through that, you know? Rack says, I'll do it, I'll do it. Uh, okay, okay, that's, that's fine, just, I'm sorry. Oh my God, we have a new person. Wait, wait, no, we don't. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We don't. Per we do have a new person. Never mind. We're not going to get him. Fuck it. We almost had a new person, but we're not going to do that. I think probably tomorrow, if I were to go back to the same IHOP and try and eat pancakes. I, and the same amount of pancakes, I would probably get about seven, six. It was just, a, it was a very unique time in my life. I've never, it was really a dumb decision. I was running so much because I wanted to be prepped for my senior year of track. And I was like, well, everybody's running 70 miles a week right now anyways, this winter trying to get ready but i'm also doing swimming but it's not like i need to back off or anything i just kept doing it which is really not smart maybe we re maybe we replace this somewhere i just don't think it was a smart choice 
let's put this somewhere else. Let's put this like, uh, Hmm. Where do we want to feed our pets? I don't know. We just do it in here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, we have a, a bulk trader, which is great. Um, I don't know who our best social person is. It's probably Maddie. It is Maddie. Maddie's going to go trade with them. See what we can do. See if we can sell our art sculptures, which I'm sure will be good for us. Let's expand this zone to right here. Let's copy settings. Just in case the settings aren't pasted. You know how you have those, you know you have those people who are like, Especially you get to my age and you have those people who are like, uh, very, they're sort of all, all about like what they were, what they were about in high school. They're so ready to tell you what they were about in high school. We'll sell some, some squirrel meat. Nope. Number lock is off. And it's like in, in some, in some ways it's like all that ever comes up is how they were like in high school. I, I, I try to avoid doing that. The one thing that I will do that about is, is my all-you-can-eat pancake record. That's all I have. That's all I have to hold on to. Uh, Leon says, I took a parcel in for one of the neighbors. That was two days ago. How long do I leave it before I take it to them? Or is it automatically my property after five days? <laughs> it depends on what it is. If it's like a PS5, it's yours now. What? Um... Ooh, we could buy some of this. Not gonna hurt us. I also buy some of that. Oops, I'm muted. Wow, you're old noodle arms? Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Sell a bunch of cloth. Will you let me sell my 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 things? My art? You don't want to buy my art. Shit. Mm, okay, but I can sell you all this stuff. Great. Yo, we're about to make bank here. About to make bank. If it's gold bars, it's yours now. If it's food, uh, it's also yours. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is like, uh, it's immediately yours. How many of these should I buy? Should I buy all of them? I still have to pay. No, there's no way. This is good for, I don't know, dude. Let's buy like 50 of that. Wait, wait, wait. That's zero. Are we still making money? That means we're making money, right? Yes, yeah, so that means we're making money. Okay. God, that took me forever. Yeah, okay, okay. Um I feel like we should probably buy components. But it's super expensive. We'll just buy ten of each just in case, so we have a little bit. Alright, we made money. Great. Rebecca's back. Welcome back. Welcome back. feel like I way overthought that. All right, so this is our new character. This is potentially Brack. Um, they have a lot of resistance remaining. That's not good. They have a peg leg on their left leg. Oh my God, Brack, this is almost you. And you have a peg leg on your, on your left leg. That's great. 
Yeah, you're a female named uh, age 46. What are you good at? You're good at meleeing people. That seems so far, that's that's kind of you. Uh, decent intellectual. You're psychically hypersensitive. Good at plants. Melee is my thing. Meg is having a really rough time. What's going on, Meg? You're in serious pain. A group of ducks abandoned her lost have war have wandered into the area. No shit. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. We got a bunch of ducks. That's great. We're gonna uh, we're gonna keep some of them at least. Actually, first let's just see if they lay eggs. Let's see if they lay eggs. If they do lay eggs, I kind of hate ducks in in real life. I hate geese in real life. Just slightly different, but. If they lay a bunch of eggs, then we can murder all the men, minus one or two, and uh, and use them as a food, a food source. Duck came to the colony. I know, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. We got so many ducks. So many ducks. Oh, also, we got to get rid of that. So I think that will stop falling apart now that we moved it. We moved it over. Brack, what are you up to today? Got a workout in? What else? What else you got? <clears throat> Plan for the day. Also, are you playing Cyberpunk? I don't remember. Probably play some duos with Rebecca later. I love it. A mad mayor. A local mayor has gone mad. It's going to attack everyone it sees. Just the one? Okay, that's actually fine with us. Um, Let's kill it. Uh, Maddie's going to go ham by backing up to here. Mars is going to go there. Meg is, uh, is also going to go to here. Meg is going to be our, uh, our cover for, or sorry, Mars is going to be our bait for how this goes. Mars, where are you? Mars, you're so far away. Oh, God. We've killed, hit it a couple times. Maddie, now you're going to back up. And Meg is going to shoot. Yep. Okay. We did it. We did it. Hunt. Okay. Um, Brax says, uh, I tried Cyberpunk earlier. It's fun, but it's glitchy. My laptop runs at around 15 to 30 FPS, so I just refunded it. Gotcha. Brax says, I updated the stuff uh, that I think I should update. On the PC, I still get around 14 up when it said I should get around 250 up. So it said 250 up and down for you. Megabyte, megabytes per second or whatever it is. Fair enough, Brack. Fair enough. All oh, these ducks are definitely getting it on. Okay, so are they laying eggs or what? Are they laying eggs or what? We had chickens. The chickens went bye-bye. Let's see if we get some, some ducks. I've always... I've heard that you'll always just generally... Are those... Those are chicken eggs. Just get a... Uh, I don't know what to do with these. If they're fertilized... Can you not, like... I don't know. How does this work? How do eggs work? Fertilized eggs are not allowed inside. Hear me out on this. Um, I've heard that generally up is just harder to achieve, but if they say you should get it up, I don't know. They say you should get it up. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, a caravan from Wiener Concord is approaching. Love to see it. Wiener Concord, their slavers, which is uh, I frown upon greatly. However, I'm going to see if I can sell or, or yeah, sell anything to them or buy something from them. Um, I can buy some medicine. Dude, they sell some, sell some dark shit. Let's buy a little bit of medicine. Let's buy their free medicine. It's great to have medicine. Oh, it's a huge difference, Rebecca. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I don't think you're... I think you're on the exact right track. So nobody's going to do any crafting, which is a problem for us currently. I mean, Mars could, but likely no. Mars doesn't need to do art ever. He could do crafting ahead of these things. All right. I think right here I actually have to do this. I think I have to do like... I don't remember how this goes. There's a whole system of like, that I've used in the past of how to block people off at the starts. Um, but I don't remember exactly how it goes. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work that out for myself eventually when I have enough um enough stone and stuff to do it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of our RimWorld playthrough. If you liked what you saw, I would really appreciate a like on the video. Otherwise we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for more RimWorld.